Hi, this is Carla Sondheim and welcome to my studio in Seattle, Washington. Today I'm going to show you how to marble on paper using nail polish. So first, the supplies you'll need. Um, you'll need some nail polish and I have here just a selection of colors that I got at like a Walgreens or an, another store like that and I found the stuff that was on sale for a dollar or two dollars each and that works great. Um, otherwise this can get kind of expensive. You'll need a tub, a small tub filled with water, um, a rag, possibly some scissors, some sharp things such as a needle or a nail or I like to use my mechanical pencil, some paper cut to size so that it will fit nicely in, the, in your tub, and some scrap pieces of paper. And before I got started, I just wanted to show you a couple of um, samples of some things that we can make. These are all done with nail polish. And we'll start today with this, just a simple color combination, uh, the brown, the red, and the white. So this is a process that you want to do fairly quickly once the nail polish is in the water. So I would um, go ahead and pick out maybe three colors. I'm going to choose a red, um, a kind of a brownish, and I'm opening them so that I don't have to take the time to do that when I'm working. And the first thing I'm going to show is just the straight technique um, without the marbling part, but that makes for some really pretty things too. So you start with a, your first color, and what you're going to do is just load your brush and then let it drop in. And you can see it spreading apart there. Keep doing that. This is clear polish. And as it starts to sort of firm up, it'll start to dissipate a little more slowly. And all I do is I will drop this straight in and then use my fingers to push down. And probably some polish will come on the back. So that is what I got on that one. Okay, let's try it again. But before we do, um, even though we picked up most of the nail polish from the surface of the water, I like to use this little uh, scrap piece of paper to just make sure that we pick up all the extra nail polish. Otherwise, it gets kind of gunky. Okay, let's try it again. This time, we'll try it with um, some marbling with the sharp object. And I love this process because you never know what you're going to get. It's just so fun in that way. Now I'm going to take some pencil, whoops, and start to move it around. And then I'm going to drop my paper in. So once again, you never know what you're going to get. And some areas may turn out really beautifully, and then some areas not so much. And that's uh, what the scissors are for later when they dry. So this marbling is just another wonderful way to make marks on the paper. And I use this stuff in my collage work and all kinds of things, making artist books and things. Um, I just love, love, love the mystery and surprise that comes from this marbling. To me, it's the happy accidents that are the best. That's kind of pretty. Working quickly, because you can actually let it sit a little too long, and then it 
likes to um, gunk up like that. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the marbling technique. And one thing I forgot to say is you might want to wear a mask or make sure a window is open because it can be fumey. Um, those of you who have taken my classes before know that the um, surprise element and experimental element of art making is one of my very favorite things to do. So experiment with this. And if you can, upload them to our Flickr or Facebook sites. And I'll see you soon. Thanks so much. <laughs>